What's good, everybody? Uh, back with another Alliance War video, season 18, war number 11. And we are faced against my dollar menu terrorist. Um, so yeah, they're a goal to Alliance. Uh, so let's just jump right in. Uh, I've got Torch, Claire, and Warlock with me. I'm taking Path 9, as you see Ebony Maul, Mordo there. Uh, in the first section and in the second section, I'm taking Path 9 as well, Inverted Controls. Um, and then we had some boss fights. Um, Invisible Woman, I'll just give you a heads up. Uh, I get beat up pretty good in that one. Uh, but back to our first fight, uh, it's Ebony Maul on Aegis. Um, and Torch, of course, this is a great counter to Maul. Um, we just kind of want to get the charges off here by parrying um, and then let them touch me a little bit just to get my temperature up and uh, lay as many incinerates on them as possible. So right now the fight's going according to plan. Um, we're just laying into him and, and he's melting. So down goes Ebony Maul. Um, you know, I really brought some good counters uh, into war this war. Um, so I thought it was going to be a really easy war for me. And, and it was for the most part until I got to the IW mini boss. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, next up, we got Mordo on Aegis, which again, a typical defender here. Um, and again, with Mordo, I just kind of want to let him beat into me, get my temperature up. And, um, you know, just that power management. Now I want to get it, reset that. And now I want to back myself up to the wall and counter his heavy. Get rid of the Aegis that way. I love getting rid of the Aegis from Mortal like that. And then now it's just, uh, just try and melt this guy as quick as possible. I didn't realize uh, until this fight that I had suicides on. So I'm taking a lot more damage than uh, than normally I would. Um, I wasn't too happy about that because, as you'll see, I, I use up a lot of potions this war. But Mordo goes down, um, and now we're on to our next fight. And this fight uh, we scouted, um, and as you can see, it's a Korg. Um, so I'm going to bring in Torch again, another good counter to Korg. Uh, Torch is just his utility, man. I, I love him, but, uh, basically all of his contact is energy. So you don't take any thorns damage. Now getting his rock shields down, as you can see me trying to do here is somewhat difficult. Cause every time you parry him, you could possibly gain a rock shield. Besides shrugging it off like he just did there and, and punish me. Um, so again, I take more damage in this fight. Um, I didn't fight very well at all in this war. Uh, I really didn't. Um, I think I died twice in this war. Um, so yeah, it, it's not good, but I got beat up a whole lot. But nevertheless, uh, I get his charges down, get the Aegis indestructible charges down. And now it's just a matter of keeping my temperature up and laying incinerates on him. As you can see, I mean, it, you know, this Korg is going down pretty easy, but I made it a really super difficult fight. Um, I got beat up real good. So Korg goes down, uh, and now we're going to move on to our next fight before we get to section two. And that's going to be Hala. Um, so nothing special here on this node. It's, you know, just a diversity placement, I'm sure. Um, but Claire comes in to take this fight. You know, Claire did really well for me this war. Um, she's an excellent champ to have on your roster. Um, here, I'm, again, can't dex the SP1. Again, I've played really bad this war. I just wasn't on at all. Um, played really bad. But the fight's over. Claire comes in, does work. 
Hela goes down, and now we move on to section two. Uh, this fight uh, turns out to be a carnage on inverted controls. So we're going to once again bring Claire in. Um, and again, you know, she she does great against Cosmic Champs. Uh, so here I'm just going to parry. Well, tried to parry, but didn't get the parry off. Throw my combo switch over because I ultimately I want to get to my curse of uh, Hellfire, which is the her incinerate mode, um, and just end the fight uh, with that damage. So you can see Carnage is going down here pretty easy. Um, that SP2 probably wasn't needed, but anyway, Carnage is down. And now we move on to our next fight on inverted controls. So here we have Kingpin. Um, I get this placement on inverted controls, I guess. Um, can't really parry him or it's not guaranteed I, or safe, I should say. Um, but here we're just gonna try to get an intercept here. Um, get beat up a little bit and as far as block damage goes but i really just want to get to curse of hellfire her incinerate mode as you can see i get heavy by him I, this was the next day woke up in the morning and um as you'll see in the next couple fights just not playing well i haven't played well this whole entire war um it's a wonder that I came out with just two deaths but here I get my SP2 off and I'm just trying to bait him um, and then um, go ahead and finish the fight and be done with this war man <laughs> I'm telling you I was dreading this war um, and then waking up the next day to fight a few fights just uh, didn't bode well either so we finally got Kingpin down thank God um, and we can move on to our next fight, which, uh, which this is, uh, close encounters with Thing and, um, Torch again, great counter for Thing. Uh, Thing is not immune to incinerates. Um, so that's one way you can get damage over time on Thing. Uh, at that point, you just have to manage his rock stacks. Uh, but the tricky thing with Torch, again, you have to keep his temperature up. Um, as you can see me here trying to parry heavy to keep his temperature up. But close encounters uh, with Thing, that can be a difficult fight to, to keep your health up. Um, a, you're trying to manage this beast of a defender. Uh, B, you have to dodge and bait his specials to manage his rock stack. So... It, that, that, it was a pretty good placement. I, I get the logic there. So, But here we're just able to keep incinerates on them. And, you know, eventually thing goes down um, to Human Torch. And we're on to our next fight. Um, this next fight, it was an interesting placement, actually. Uh, Punisher 2099 on Power Shield. Um, I never try to dodge a special, so I wasn't worried about suffering from the 400% damage increase. So I figured I'd just block, you know, and it should be easy. But with the kinetic node on here, where he gains power from blocking, from blocked hits, rather. Um, so if he gets his specials off, he's, you know, he's basically gaining power as well. Um, so I wanted to bring Warlock here as you can see because Warlock can take those specials from Punisher and not take very much damage. Um, so yeah, here you see me just building up his power, blocking his specials, not taking too much damage, and then I finally get to my SP2 to finish the fight. That's the only bad thing about Power Shield with Punisher on it at that point. But otherwise, that's a good placement. He's a good defender there. But nevertheless, we're on to our next fight. Punisher goes down. And now we got the Invisible Woman fight. Uh, absolute terrible. Um, I take in Torch. I die to her twice. Um, but Torch is a great matchup for her. 
because above 10 degrees, uh, his attacks can't be missed. So I want to get my temperature up, as you see, and the fight goes pretty well. Um, I just lose it at the end. Uh, but yeah, you see me maintaining my temperature, build s'mores up by blocking that SP1, and as you can see, she can't miss me. So I continue to keep that up. I'm doing great. Incinerate's on her, and everything's fine. Um, but then the, the fight just goes south. Um, I, I throw my SP2 here, get the heavy off, and then I miss that attack, so she uh, punishes me for it. And then here, my temperature's starting to drop. Now she turns invisible, throws her SP2. All this, my temperature's going down. And now I need a parry on a limber node uh, to get my temperature back up. So it. <laughs> Now it's going really bad, and now I get hit with this SP-1, um, and yeah, down I go, just that quick, uh, it was crazy, um, I do go back in, but I'm not going to show it, I didn't want to heal Torch up, so I figured she was so low, let me take Claire in, um, but then I get blasted again, so, god, I'm glad that's over. So moving on now um, to Captain Marvel movie. And uh, again, I brought, brought Claire in for this fight. Um, Captain Marvel movie, she just melts the mystics in general. So you're, you're gonna see big damage uh, taken by Captain Marvel in this one. Uh, all the energy damage that she's gonna get from Claire because Claire is a mystic. So here, I mean, a uh, 10 hit combo, and we, we're shaving 20% off. Um, once I, I want to switch to Curse of Hellfire and uh, throw my SP2, and you're gonna see 50% of her damage going. And this is a rank two six star. So, um, you know, that that's like a uh, 75K special right there, so. Captain Marvel movie down, on to the next, which is Havoc, um, and I brought Warlock, Warlock into the war for Havoc, um, and this is just the same old Warlock Havoc encounter. Um, he's on an energized node, but uh, once I get, build up my viruses and get infections on him, um, he's not going to be gaining as much power as he would normally on this node, so... You see me here just wanting to parry. Uh, I even take block damage because I want to beat, want him to beat into my block because that drains his power as well as gives me viruses. So, um, and I love to dodge his SP2, but you're going to see me get clipped here uh, in a little bit from his SP2. Um, but that's why Warlock is such a great matchup for Havoc because uh, with his armor, as long as his armor's up. Uh, Warlock's not going to take much damage um, from Havoc. So, again, name of the game, bait specials. Uh, just keep touching him, uh, hitting him, hitting his block, him hitting my block, uh, just to keep everything up, throwing my special too, um, and, and until Havoc goes down. And again, I get my second SB2 off. Um, here, uh, do I get clipped? No. I get clipped by SP2 coming up here, so it's, uh, maybe it's, yeah, it's gotta be this one. Uh, push him here to an SP2 right here. Boom, yeah. Uh, didn't take, I took less than 10,000 damage from that, so it's not bad. But have it goes down, um, and that's about it for me in this war. Uh, I didn't get to the boss fight uh, we had another guy go in and uh, take on the boss as you can see here um, he's in the fight now and we pull out the victory um, good effort by us on this war uh, we really came together but thank you guys for watching I really appreciate that and until next time peace